Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to fix the SSH error connection refused on Linux. One possible cause of the connection refused error is that the remote machine is not running an SSH server. Without the SSH server, the machine will not accept incoming SSH connections, and you will not be able to access it remotely. So the first step in troubleshooting the error is to check whether an SSH server is installed on the remote machine. Use the following command to verify the SSH server installation. You will see the following output if the SSH server is not installed on the remote machine. Otherwise, you must install the OpenSSH server on the remote machine you want to access via SSH. To install the OpenSSH server, use the following command. Fortunately, most server providers today install SSH daemon on VPS by default. If you use VPS, don't worry about this. Usually, this problem exists in dedicated and local host servers. Another reason for getting the connection refused error can be that the SSH service is disabled or not running on the remote machine. Once you are sure that the SSH server is installed, the second thing you need to check is the status of the server. If the service is up and running, the output will indicate it is active, running. Otherwise, you will see something like inactive, dead. If the SSH server is not running, you can start it manually using the following command. By default, the SSH server runs on port 22. However, someone can change the default port. Therefore, if you receive the SSH connection refused error, it may be because you are attempting to connect to the SSH server on the default port 22 while it is running on some different port. You can use the netstat command with grep to find the port the SSH server is listening on. After identifying the correct SSH port, try connecting to your remote system using that specific port. But if you do not find port 22 in the list provided, you must open the SSH port by running the following command to connect to the server. Most of the connectivity problems occur due to your machine's firewall blocking some ports or services. If the remote machine has the SSH server installed and running, the next step is to check your firewall. To figure out whether the firewall is blocking the connection, temporarily disable the firewall using the following command. If the error does not appear after disabling the firewall, it means that the firewall was blocking the connection. In this case, re-enable the firewall and add a rule that allows SSH-like solution 3. 